Good evening, everybody. Evening, sir. Yes, I'm seeing a number of persons here. Um, so today you're going to get your quiz. I actually managed to do it to um, your quiz. So you're going to get it on unit one, units one and two. And then the other quiz, not today, of course, will be on uh, marketing information systems and the other unit I will be doing. So let's do some recap before we go any further. Um, I'm not going to necessarily teach anything new. Today is just really about recapping and doing um, your, your pop quiz. I'm just trying to clear my screen to ensure that I don't have anything necessarily open. All right, does anybody have any question? And I see that some persons have been visiting the YouTube channel. So um, <clears throat> watch the recordings, which will assist you to better or further on the, the content. Hey. Is, yes. So why could you send them regularly to eat? Send it to email like that a picture, sir. I can't remember if it's my YouTube video. And then working uh, as my YouTube um is off. Well, I, I don't put I don't send them via email. I because it has to I have to, I, I'm trying to prevent the to save space in my Google um my my Gmail because I actually pay for the space. So it's easy for me to upload it to Turn it in to um, YouTube so that, and it's easier for you because all you need to do is just to go on YouTube and watch the recording. So I will not be emailing it. You're going to actually watch it on YouTube. It will not be emailed, all right? That's my method. I'm not, I'm not going to email it. It's, it's too much work that way. And it's actually going to fill up your space, the space on your phone because you'd have to download it and all of that. So that's another reason why I put it on YouTube because YouTube has the space to house millions and millions of videos. All right, so let's, let's just recap um, chapter one that we did our unit one, some of the terms. <clears throat> um, you'll probably come, come, come across some of them in the pop quiz. So definition of marketing and the marketing process managing profitable with customer relationships, creating value for customers and building strong relationships to capture value from customers in return. Um, and we spoke about the marketing process where you begin by understanding the marketplace and customer needs and wants and understanding the marketplace. Um, I think we looked at some of it last week, last class rather, uh, design a customer-driven marketing strategy. And this is just this is just something you need to know for the purposes of a pop quiz. Um, these things are usually fleshed out in greater detail in other parts of the course. Construct an integrated marketing program that delivers superior value. You're not going to do that at this level. That's when you reach the, the other levels and build profitable relationships and create customer delight. We spoke a little bit about that. Um, the five core concepts, understanding the marketplace and customer needs, and you must understand the difference between needs, wants, and demands, market offerings, value and satisfaction, exchanges and relationships, and markets. And these are various definitions. Needs deprived of physical, social, and individual basics. In other words, we cannot live without these things. Um, wants, needs, influenced by culture and personality. You can live without certain wants, like the latest bag or the latest um, shoes. Demand the sum of wants and buying for. All right. And we spoke about market offerings. We have products, services, experiences, and marketing myopia. Um, we, this is just, um, talking about customer value and satisfaction. And we 
spoke a little bit, well, not a little bit, but we spoke a lot about customer value in terms of the, in terms of creating value for the customer in terms, or creating added value for the customer, for our customer, in terms of the different things that we can do to create additional value, but also customer value in the sense that the dollar value of your customer over a lifetime or over a period of time. Another core concept is exchange relationships. And of course, marketing is really transactional. And we did say from the very beginning that it's about building and maintaining profitable relationships. All right, so we are exchanging um, value in return to get value from the customer. So we're adding value to the customer to get value from the customer. Market, buyers of a product. So we're talking about really sellers, um, sellers and buyers within our, um, the exchanging of goods and services and things like that. We spoke about a modern marketing system where you have suppliers and consumers and you have the competitors and the marketing intermediaries. What did we say are marketing intermediaries again? What are marketing intermediaries? Can anybody remind me? Um, individuals who go out and market a product. Individuals who try to sell a product. Okay. Anybody else? Anybody else a marketing in the media? So we're talking about wholesalers. We're talking about retailers. We're talking about marketing agencies. We're talking about any person and or company that connects a supplier to a, a, a consumer to a customer. All right. Understand? Is that clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So think about mutual value. And I think I just mentioned it before. Marketing is both a process and a cycle. The process involves identifying customer needs and developing products to satisfy those needs. And I also had mentioned that in terms of satisfying needs, you really put the needs or the, put those needs in segments. So it might be demographic segments, psychographic segments, or, or so forth. All right. Um, the process involves, yes, the cycle involves the mutual value generated between buyer and seller. And I just mentioned earlier the whole notion of the company providing value to customer and also, and at the same token, getting value from customer. So marketing management, choosing target markets and building profitable relationships with them. And so marketing management really is a process of managing the marketing process. So part of that involves choosing target markets. And I did, I I think I mentioned some time ago that as a marketer, you're going to choose different segments in the marketplace, and then you're going to choose the ones that you can build the most profitable relationships with. So if there are, you might have 10 segments in the marketplace, but you might not go after 10 segments because only three will give you, um, will allow for the building of profitable relationships. And that also to marketing management involves finding, attracting, keeping, and increasing the number of customers by providing value. And this is why marketing con campaigns are constantly being done. And you can, you can think about Digicel and, and Cable and Wireless. Can you tell me what are some of the benefits or some of the benefits of engaging Digicel versus um, Flow or vice versa? Who do you think is outdoing who in terms of adding value to customer or providing benefits to customer? And just say how that um, either of them is doing that. Flow right now. What is Flow doing that Digicel is not doing? All right. For one, um, I'm going to work with their five day plan. The five day plan consists of any mini, any local calls. Plus, you have access to um, WhatsApp. You have access to your any social media, basically. No, mm -hmm. the seven day plan. The, the plan that Digicel has cost $675 to about $850. $675 if you have their app on the phone and $850 if you don't have the app on the phone. 
And that is for seven days. And how it's done, it's on a meter. They tell us it's unlimited. It's not unlimited. It's actually on a meter. I should know because I talk a lot on my phone. I use my phone a lot. So what happens is that I can tell you they actually have a meter. Because one at a time, I will look, the seven days not even up, and they're telling me I can't make any calls. Sure. So, yeah, so they actually have a meet. Girl, yeah, the mega bad run out. No, the mega bad may talk time, time, you know. When I talk, um, social media talk time, you know. May I talk normal talk time. The, the meter run out. You understand me? And they said it was an unlimited for the seven days for any for any um local cars. But there's actually a meter attached to it. But for flow, there is none. You understand? Mm-hmm. And then they made the call like for. And plus you get um you get one thousand local minutes um minutes when you when you when you first stop up for the month. Now um for the month plan is actually one thousand eight hundred dollars and you get two gigabytes with that plus you get your unlimited social media and you get your any minute call time because girl talk a lot so <laughs> I can tell you it it works out for me. Yes, I have service at home and I have service at work. But when I'm on the road, I do use the phone a lot because I have to check my email. I have to make sure that everything is up and running. So did you sell kind of crappy? You'll be on the phone talking and within one hour, you see the call drop. I'm like, what the hell is going on? So did you sell now? They might say them plan good and then they cost too much. It's like what? Um, $4,000 for the month plan? Hell No. That now works. So did flow work out better than Giselle? Okay. All right. So we can we are hearing from an actual customer. Somebody else was about to say something. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Without even the plan, I like the fact that with flow, you can call any network on the same. So if it's two minutes, if it's $2 you're paying to make a minute call, it's mm-hmm. the same, it's a flat rate. You know, with Digicel, if you're calling you have to pay more. What, what, what would you say? Uh, some people might say that they will still support Digicel because Digicel contributes more to Jamaica, to Jamaica, to, well, to Jamaica than Flow. So Digicel has a foundation. They're always out there helping, giving away stuff, always helping people. And, and you know, what would you say in response to that? Sir, that not concern me. Me, I feel the blunt with them. So me, I feel it. Me, I feel it, sir. They might mm-hmm. keep from me. No, them not help me. Them not contribute nothing to me. It's but should, not, should, it that, should, should it be that they should only contribute to you, the person, or is it that you have to think about it in a kind of collective but, sir, sense? Sir, if they are, if they are helping person, right? Mm-hmm. If they are, what do you call them again? Um uh volunteer or whatever they do right mm-hmm. they should help everybody it cannot be that i am buying my credit for good quality service and i'm not getting that because because me got to look at the fact that they might help people with the money but me mm-hmm. need help right now me need to talk to more me need to go class man the phone me need to do things too mm-hmm. So yeah. you, I, I was just playing be, David. If, I was just no, playing David's advocate. If you're advocate. going to help everybody, if you're going to help, help everybody. Okay, don't do not help. Do not just help some. Okay, fair enough. All right. Um. So we said that already. Winning marketing strategies formed by answering what our customers, what customers we will we serve. It, it could just be who are our customers, and how we can best serve these customers. So you look at the marketplace and as as I said before, come up with the segments and then determine how best can I serve each segment. So right now I'm doing some consultant, marketing consultancy work for a particular place. And there are times when I just target men between a certain age. There are times when I target women between a certain age. There are times when I target women a certain time of the day same thing for men there are times when i if i and i always say to people if you really want to advertise to men wait until you have the european football or you know some kind of um league going on whether it be a national league the premier league in jamaica and you advertise during that time people are paying attention to the television because they want to see the 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 scores and stuff like that 
Um, so news, news work too, you know, sir. And news too, right. Yeah. But news yeah. is really for everybody though. So there yeah. are times when they want to target just a segment in the population um, as a verse, uh, versus the mass, because prime time is very, very expensive. And it could be that the company can't afford to do prime time. So you have to find other niche ways of reaching your market. All right, we did talk about value proposition and I think the definition is coming up. We, we, um, and we did an activity in terms of looking at the benefits that are promised to the customers. But what is more important is that you deliver on the promise. Many companies that advertise a thing, they advertise one thing and then the customer gets something else. You're not getting your um, value for money as was being expressed earlier with Digicel in terms of you're paying for a particular service and regardless of you know Digicel Foundation and all these wonderful things, if I'm paying for a service and you promise, you make a promise to me as a customer, it means that you must deliver. All right, and also to that you value proposition is about distinguishing your brand within the marketplace from your competitors. Then we spent a little, uh, some amount of time looking at the marketing management um, philosophies and that there are five of them and that it's really an evolution of. So the first one was production, then product and selling marketing and, there's a, and then societal uh, marketing. And you find that these two are more primarily uh, they primarily exist now in terms of marketing and, uh, and in terms of societal marketing. Um, so the selling concept is that you make a lot of stuff and you, you push it out in the marketplace. And once you make a lot of it and put it out, people are going to buy it. This is the assumption. And the marketing concept now is about profits through customer satisfaction. But the societal one now is, is about sustainability, ensuring that you're marketing in a very responsible way, that you protect the environment, all of that while achieving profit, because it's important that you remain viable as an uh, as a company or as a brand. Um, the societal, I just spoke about that. I don't need to go back through that. Then we spoke about the marketing mix, the four Ps, product, price, place, and promotion. And that the, products, the product involves the features, the quality of the product, the branding, how it is positioned in the marketplace, how it is actually packaged. It could be a service and of course many companies or many brands now have warranties. And this is a way to kind of attract customers and build confidence in the customers. So if you give a warranty for one or two years, the customer is going to say, well, this must be a good product or I will buy from this particular brand or company because of the warranty. And then price, of course, price is not just the cost attached to the product or service, but um, also to the kinds of pricing strategies that are used to attract customers and also to retain customers. And we're going, we're going to get into some discussion about that. And I think I'd mentioned at that point in time, penetration pricing, where you enter the marketplace at a lower rate than your competitors as a way to attract customers. And then also to, I don't remember the other one, which is the opposite of that, where you enter the marketplace as a luxury item and you charge a lot, a higher premium because they're, the, the segment you're going after um, they're able, they have the spending power and they are willing to spend on that particular um, product because of the, the benefit it adds to them, whether it be that it, it makes them feel that they are a part of some group such as uptown or downtown or whatever it is. And the place now is where the, the kinds of platforms that are used to, for example, advertise or to promote the product and the promotion now includes all the different tactics that are done to get the, 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 the word out, quote unquote. So you have sales promotion, you have advertising, you have public relations, you have direct marketing, you have um, digital marketing as well, which is not there. The, and we spoke about this, I'm not gonna go through all of these, but customer relationship management is important now because you have to build the relationship, you have to maintain the relationship, and you have to ensure that the relationship is profitable. And you have to ensure that you are delivering superior customer value and satisfaction. And superior means that you're taking into account your competitors who are also offering um, the same product or service in the marketplace. And I, and I think I'd mentioned to you that you should always always pay attention to your competitors. I usually just 
sign up for their school or their program or call them on the phone and pretend to be somebody else just to see how they respond or how they talk to me over the phone and, and the benefits that they're claiming to provide as a, as a, as a, as a, as a brand and all of that. And also to the, the whole notion of profitable customer relationship is about acquiring, meaning that you're trying to attract or you're attracting new customers. You want to keep the ones that are there and you want to increase your customers um, over time. Because it could be that the, the current customer base is not enough to, mentee, uh, to, to ensure that a company or a brand remains viable in relation to, especially in relation to its competitors. The customer perceived value, um, and it's really the, 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 the difference between what the customer um, is paying for a product and service and that which they get from it. So customers evaluation of the difference between all the benefits and costs of a marketing offer relative to those of the competitors. In other words, the benefits and costs associated with your cup soup versus the, the benefits and costs of your competitor's cup soup. All right. So it's a, that's why it says customer perceived value. In other words, how does a customer rank your good and or service in relation to your competitor? How do they rank the benefits that you, that you outline in your value proposition, as well as the costs in relation to your competitors? I, for example, um, I am very willing to pay more if the customer service is very good. I will pay more. So I give a perfect example. Where I live while I'm in Jamaica, um, there's a supermarket nearby and under um, where the supermarket is, you have some persons, you know, Jamaicans, we sell, you know, we sell our ground produce. So there are two persons on the outside, an old lady and a much older man. Sometimes the man is a little bit pricey and the lady sells cheaper. But I still buy from the, the, the man because he's very polite, very respectful. The lady, she's a grandmother, and I hear she tell some people some suck out and some to trace people and just the way how she behaves. I bought from her once and um, I heard her, quote unquote, cussing off somebody who decided that they never bought a one to buy her peer. And she was just cussing. And I'm like, I don't want to associate myself with that person. So I, I, I'm willing to buy from the brand or the company that is offering me a peace of mind. That is something that to me is very, very important. Um, I don't know if you guys have the same sentiment in terms of if there is a company, there's a product that you like or a service that you use, and there are two companies, one that might charge you more than the other, but the one that charges you more they have other ad added benefits. It could be that they have AC. It could be that you go there and you can go on Wi-Fi. It could be that there you go there and get a drink or whatever it is. So just remember now this notion of customer perceived value is that the, the, the customer is really evaluating what you say on your charges versus what your competitors um, say or the benefits of your competitors as well as the costs. Anybody has ever bought from a, a, a company that is more expensive because of, you know, peace of mind or whatever it is? Anybody has ever had that experience? Here in Mandeville, sir, what happens mm. is that as it relates to the, you have some little small supermarket that are operated by Asian people. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you, I'm not going to them go back. <laughs> Why not? I hear how them angle the Jamaicans them as their worker. I hate it. I went oh. into work and how the lady deal with the, the, um, the, the Jamaican worker was like, seriously, me just walk or leave with me to go buy in there and go to a different place. No, so I'm not buy fine and none of them work in a mandible. I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't either. If I see them talking to my countrymen, like that, I'm not going to buy. Mm -mm. Anybody else? Some persons are just way too silent. I've right. never heard them talk. Not, not, not food, but like, um, 
sometimes I travel with mm -hmm. public transportation and trust me, there is Spanish town bus stop, you have to, you have to, you have to, you have to, you have to be one good gladiator. You have to can box down and kick down people for reaching a bus. Mm -hmm. So for me, you know, a hundred dollar, but um, I have this little taxi where me use. Mm -hmm. Who pays in charge an uh, 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 extra hundred dollar, but me willing to pay because me not have to fight for going a taxi. Me can sit down comfortable. Me have little AC, mm -hmm. and there is something you know some people not have good hygiene and they make a thing. They only follow the factors. So I'm really mm -hmm. pay extra hundred dollar. Yeah, I, I I used to live in Spanish town years ago, and I used to do the same thing. You know, I'm willing to pay a little bit more just to sit in an environment where I feel safe and I don't have to smell people. It's like some years ago, I went to a supermarket. I usually buy from the supermarket because I was living close. Um, this was when I think I was living off Waterloo. And I went in there one day, bought some stuff, about two bags. And when I was coming up, coming out, the security just stopped me and like he was trying to say, you know, show me a receipt. And the way he was talking to me, I was so upset. Because I'm saying in my head, this is a security person now is going to ask me to show him my receipt. When we come in here every day, buy my stuff and pay for it and go through the door without any kind of interaction or confrontation. I know what I did. I just took out the receipt. I called the supervisor and I said to her, I don't want anything. I want you to send back the money on my, on my credit card. It was about 30 something thousand dollars. They send back every dollar on my credit card. And she was like, why and rare? And I said, let me tell you something. Nobody's going to insult my intelligence. I went to school. I spent, I got to school for too many years, spent too much money investing in myself to come into a supermarket to be insulted by a security guard. And she apologized profusely, but I still didn't buy. And I haven't gone back to that supermarket because my thing is that the same set of people who would complain about classism are the ones who turn around. Apparently, I never had the uptown look. Because I, I even asked him to, if, if it is that I don't have the look, what is the look that I need to come in the supermarket with to not be disrespected or to be treated or to be othered? Because that's exactly how I felt. I've never sir, been back into that supermarket. Sir, um, uh, well, if a place that we know, like when you buy stuff, them, when you mm -hmm. go to the door, them ask you for the receipt, and some of them just like, I'll uh, walk me, even walk me a bag and look in a bag. And I think, um, Probably, I know why him do, or how him do it, you understand? No, that wasn't a policy of that supermarket, you know, because what I used oh, to do... Oh, um, Mega Mart? No, it's not Mega Mart, it's the one, where they call that, you know, where's Island Grill in Alpha Tree again? Um, up, um, um, Brooklyn? Over there. Yeah, so you have you have Island Grill at the, 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 the end. Yeah, at the end, yeah, man, we know which one is at Brooklyn. That supermarket, I used to like close by, I used to walk in distance. And they never used to check that that was not a policy of the supermarket where they check your receipt. Oh. It was not a policy. Even though I don't even th I still don't think it's a policy of the su of that supermarket. I know Mega yeah, Mart does I it. Say you never have the uptown look, man. <laughs> I, I clearly never have the uptown look. I was like, you know, probably I need to, I don't I don't know what I need to do, you know. I don't have the uptown look. And it happens, you know, it's really an unfortunate thing though. For me. I don't need to look or sound any way for anybody to look at me. And for me, I don't want anybody to look at me and say I'm uptown because as me say, my education speaks for itself. I am not into that foolishness. Yes, and sir, if company- Yeah, but I don't know Class no, is in my damn little thing there. Yeah, but I'm uptown. I live, live downtown. I'm in a foot. I live uptown. I'm in a foot. I'm in a Look how much talk uptown. I, 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 I have rich parents. Well, true. I don't have the, the rich parents. I don't have that background. I don't have the rich parents. Probably I need to get the rich parents and and ask, and and and, uh, and get something else. But the the point I'm making though is that um, companies have to ensure that they add value to their customers. And you find too, especially in the United States, that companies, many other companies now, have to be retraining their staff in relation to um, what I would call um, systemic racism, because many times when some of these white security guards or police officers or managers interact with black people, it is as if they profile them as criminals. And some companies don't wish to be perceived like that in the marketplace because 
black, blacks in America, and I'm deliberately not saying African-American because people think that everybody who's black in America is an African-American, which is not the case. They are a very large economic block, a very, very large economic black, um, block. And you know, if black people love buy your food or whatever, trust me, they will be buying over and over and over. And I'm watching the time in relation to the um, thing. Customer satisfaction, the extent to which the products perceive performance matches, matches a buyer's expectations. In other words, the, the, the buyer has a certain um, perception and the customer is satisfied when it exceeds that expectation. And when it meets the expectations, they consider it to be loyalty and exceeds expectations, they consider it advocacy because no, most, in most instances, you're going to refer that brand to someone else or that product to someone else or that service to someone else. In most instances, you're going to refer the product um, to someone else. How many of you have re referred Excelsior to other people? or would refer Excelsior to other, uh, to prospective students? I don't think they would. You wouldn't? No. Be worse. Why not? Based on the fact that I signed up for something and I'm, it seemed like I'm getting something that I did not sign up for. I would not, I would not encourage anybody to do, go on board with something that goes back on its word. So explain to me, so you signed up for one thing, which is what, and what is it that is not being delivered? I signed up for a whole Hold on, hold on. Based on so the fact that I'm getting the opportunity to go to a school that I wanted to go. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to sign up for this. When I got the information about it, it was said totally online. I said, all right, cool. This would be great for me because the school is in Kingston and mm -hmm. I am in no, I, the fact that I'm get, receiving an uh, email suggesting that I got off to go, go to the school. I don't know about anybody else, go, but I have go to, to school for what, though? For what? For the exam. No, 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 no. You, you need to. Did you go to the meeting? The meeting is tomorrow. All right. So some students will be, I can tell you because I'm a part of senior, senior management. So, mm -hmm. so, so the students who are not able to come into Kingston, they will not be allowed to do it online. Okay. Right, and because some of the students are overseas. But what has happened, hold on, because you have to be very fair to the institution. What has happened is that many of the students who have done their exams online, they are cheating. There have been several incidents. Um, even my a colleague of mine, I was speaking to her earlier, what the student did when they got the exam paper, they uploaded it to an answer site. The site gave them the answer, then they downloaded it to upload it to our, um, to our platform. And there oh. are, that's more than, more than one. I have marked papers where students lift large sections of other people's work. Mm -hmm. And I just drop it. I don't even bother read this. I just drop the zero and I move on. So that is partly why, because you have to maintain the integrity of the exam process. Mm -hmm. That is a challenge. All right, here's my next problem. Mm -hmm. um, Last exam, the issue I had was, although I don't get a confirmation whether my paper would be marked, I was having problem uploading. So based on the fact that I couldn't get it to upload on the fact that on the device, so what I did was... Hold on, what was the time period for upload? Because usually you get 24 hours. No, man, um, it was a case where I didn't get 24 hours to upload. It was how, many time, how much time did you get? You're not telling me that part. It was a four-hour exam. Mm -hmm. But what that I had to do it in my book. So I was having problem based on the fact that my, my laptop was giving trouble and I was doing it on my tablet. So what happened is that I took a photo of the work that I was doing and I used that with my phone and uploaded the work because I wanted my grade. Yeah, no, but you I'm can't upload a photo. You can't upload a photo because Dernitin yeah. will not be able to check for plagiarism because it's a photo remember there's a difference i as i tell you i can tell you because i am a guru when it comes on to uploading assignments what yeah. turning does you have to literally type the words you cannot yeah. take a photo of the words because it means that the system will not be able to check for the level of similarity let me not say plagiarism but the level of similarity between mm -hmm. your work and someone else's work it's not a matter that you should not um use other people's work but you want to ensure that you're properly citing the work Right. So that is partly your, the challenge because you didn't upload the paper, you uploaded a photo. Well, here's the next thing. I mm -hmm. had 
with the eternity in the whole time. I did not do any form of eternity because oh no, I can't complete eternity on the um that was one of the reasons why I was having trouble. It would not go through any at all. Mm-hmm. And then I even called a friend to see if they could assist me. Mm-hmm. And I was having a problem. I called the school. They were saying, well, refresh the page and see what will happen. Nothing. When I upload the information on it, all mm-hmm. it does is it, it, it bursts the thing to show you that, yes, you have um, uploaded. But when it's supposed to give you the information back that you can use, I'm not getting anything. Okay. And this happened during the all of the exam. I was so upset about it to the point where I say, you know what? Time running out. Me not even about to go this. So I did the work in my book and I took a photo because I needed it to be uploaded. Well, uh, you see, the, the, again, you know, I, 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 um, well, one thing I'll agree with you with about is the fact that they should have been allowing the students to practice uploading their assignments to turn it in. This is why all my students who mm-hmm. I have taught for come one and come two, they never done a, had an issue with turn it in because from the first class, just as I did with you guys, I introduced them to turn it in. When it came to the point for them to upload, I showed them how to upload. So by the time they got to the final exam, they never had an issue. So I agree with you that you should have been practicing how to upload your assignments or you know whatever to turn it in. I agree with you with that. But I know too that all persons who do exams, you are given either a 24 hour period to upload. No. They're given- uh- I, 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 for that exam, it was only four hours. Four hours is a long time, though. That's a very long time to upload an assignment. Part A, and then you had to do Part B. So during that period of time, as I said before, I was there for more than an hour trying to get this thing sorted out. And I even was in dialogue with the school because I had a WhatsApp number. I was taking photos, showing them what was going on. The person, to me... I don't know if they didn't, um, maybe because of the device I was using, they had difficulty assisting me, but it just would not work any at all. Well, I know, I always say to students when they come on to turn it in, try not to use, try to use a, a, a laptop or a desktop. Yeah, Usually, but here, I would just come from using uh, computerized accounting. So mm-hmm. the software at the time, based on the fact that it was on the device, in our law, if you do nothing else, I had to, I had to um, ensure that I do my exam. So one device not working, I have to make sure so I grab the next one because me not pay no more money for God to really do something where all I had to do was think on my feet. Okay, so, so it's really unfortunate that you had um, some of those experiences, but I know too that, as I said before, mm-hmm. cheating is a big part of why the institution is trying to counter that because so many students they upload their assignment and you can see sometimes they don't even change the name of the place where they take the information from you're literally That's- looking at it and i'm saying how oh, mm-hmm. we are educators i don't know why students think they're smarter than us Sir, so why don't us penalize them be- we a- no but the, the thing is the, the problem is, you know, that you're trying to find a, a balance, a delicate balance for everybody to benefit from, because we have to maintain the integrity of the exam. And you're saying penalizing. We also, too, we're not in the business of failing students either. That's not our job. We're not in the business of failing students. So you don't want to fail too many students. At the end of the day, students become demotivated. Me now about to come back excelsior because I remember your customers, you know, you'll easily get frustrated. Me now about to come back because they fail me. We fail four courses. I mean, I don't know if we redo it and re, re, re. And you know how you are as customers, as, as student customers. So we also have to be very careful of that. We don't want to run our customers and put ourselves out of business. So it's a, it's a delicate balance. So, sir, those, per- those persons, if you're going to have one set of persons in the class mm-hmm. on- online and one set coming face to face, what is stupidness? If, How can if it be all, stupidness? All, all of the persons belong to the same class. Because you're, I noticed the, the say, it is saying that we must um, talk to our heads to get this. I don't have no, I had a, um, it's in my thing and I had to take some a couple of days well. Because I had a debt in my family, and I there's no way I I don't have one day, so I'd like to see how that going to work out. 
What do you mean uh, in terms of doing your final exams? Yes, I don't have any days. Yeah, but how do, but how do you in, in, intend, how do how can we accommodate you for to you to do your um your final exam? So I would have to find a way to do it online in the time frame we're gonna do it because I can't get any more days. Yeah, I understand. But you, you see, I think some of you are being unfair to the institution in the sense that there's an integrity to the process of doing an exam. There is an integrity. You can't do exam sorry, at your own you convenience. Sign up, feel, 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 feel online thing. And no, mm -hmm. they are changing because persons are doing what they are doing. It's not everybody that is doing it. So they must find a, a level play, play fee where people can and that's why, come that's, and do it. But I can't get no more days. I, and then it's not like they're saying, one day or whatever you can say well they are bigger the end to take if, they, if i take one more day out of my plate going to come in all right so what i suggest you do just ensure that at the meeting you voice your concern all right because everything is not cast in stone sir um, and that, and that no there's a lot of persons that are working with government and they're uh, hold on hold on hold on though but i don't want to go down this road of discussing i don't want to preempt the meeting let me allow the vice principal to speak about it because she's the one chairing the meeting i'm not uh, the vice principal so let's get off that and go back to what we're doing <laughs> all right engaging customers um and we did talk about how social media now is being used by many companies to engage customers you know and then also to um, many companies are also asking customers to create to create these kind of competitions where they ask customers or potential customers to create advertisements and they choose the best ad and the ad is actually um, included as a part of the marketing campaign. So that's a way of engaging your customers. All right. And I think I also mentioned that social listening, I don't remember if this is class or yeah, I think I mentioned social listening where companies actually listen to their customers and even respond to their customers on social media platforms. Um, trends, targeting fewer. And I did mention this about not trying to go after every single customer or every single market, but going after the ones that are profitable and ensuring that you are building two relationships, especially on, when it's a digital media, it really means social media. Um, Yes, and this is what I mentioned earlier about um, customers creating their stuff. We mentioned, and I think I mentioned too, value from customers in purchases and value to customers in benefits. Benefits it should be benefits offered. And we and I, uh, we you you did a class activity where I asked you to show as a group to show an ad where that the benefits are actually being mentioned in the ad. Remember that, right, guys? And I think somebody shows Johnny from that very long time with a very long remember right yeah that's a very long video yes sir. very right. old that you said <laughs> it was a very let me use the word vintage or, or a very vintage video um so creates customer loyalty and retention share of market share of customer and share and customer equity sir, yes hold on one minute um on on model is it going to show now or on the 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 hour when it, when the the, the uh, you're not doing you're not doing the, you're not doing it on Moodle you're going to do it on Google Form so I'm going to Google share the link oh <laughs> sorry sir Google where are you going to share the link in the chat okay yeah and then and there's it's time sensitive so once you start you have until nine to finish it's just okay. twenty questions very okay. very easy questions and you'll get the score at the end so you'll know how much you get out of twenty okay yeah um we spoke about customer lifetime value and I, I think i was this is what i was talking to you about in the sense that you look at the value of the end time stream the, the value of the entire stream of purchases that the customer would make over a lifetime all right um so that's why they call it customer lifetime value in other words how much money would us with this with one single customer spend with you over his or her lifetime and that is a customer value. And this is why you really don't go after every customer. You go after profitable customers because the ones that are, are profitable will give you greater customer lifetime value. All right. Um, this is what customer relationship groups. Oh, Lord, I don't need to go into that. That's not on the paper. We spoke about trends in the marketing landscape. We talked about advanced um, digitized communication, social media, and all of that, and how that is revolutionizing how um, companies position themselves in the marketplace and interact with their customers. And that is now a two way um, communication system, or even a three way so to some extent, because artificial intelligence adds an additional component. We also spoke about 
um, sustainable marketing, where it's not just social corporate social responsibility, but cost um, companies um, in their in their marketing efforts um, and also in their and also with their products are more environmentally conscious, um, are more sensitive towards. Um, issues relating to race and sexuality and all of that. I'm sure you hear the discussion, um, some of the discussions in, Amer in America about systemic racism and, and transphobia and all these various things and religious freedom and gun rights and all kinds of stuff. Rapid globalization, which has really happened, um, where they call it globalization 4.0, where there is even greater integration of economies and, and, and political systems and um, peoples and cultures and the word peoples is a correct, um, is correct. So don't say Mr. Clark, don't know the difference between people and peoples. Um, also the uncertain economic environment and now we're in a pandemic and the pandemic will change how companies operate post pandemic. I don't think any company will operate the same way when we go back, well, I don't know that we're going to go back to any normal. I think we're going to go back to a new, mo new, new normal and people, and countries will be more conscious and sensitive to diseases. They just want to hear that there's a new virus from a country and people are dead. Everybody just shut down them country and say, hold on, we don't want nobody from over there, so over here. So because people are going to become far more conscious. I'm sure even after people are allowed, um, are told that they don't have to wear masks, some people are still going to wear their masks because they say, hold on. Me see some one bag of people on the plane and I'm in a light. Them come from a certain country. I'm going to wear my mask just in case them come on the plane with anything. So that's a, a, a different thing. So that's chapter one. Let us look at the other chapter now. Any questions relating to this chapter? This is chapter one. And I'm just revising for the purposes of the mid of your lecture. Yeah, it is. It's lecture two, chapter four for me. Let's share screen and I'm watching the time. Okay, we have time. So the marketing environment, we spoke about macro, the, mar the marketing environment factors and outside marketing that affect marketing management's ability to build and maintain success successful relationships with customers, in other words, what are the factors, whether they be large or small, that will affect uh, marketing management's ability to build profitable relationships with their customers. And we mentioned the macro environment and the macro environment. And we said that the macro environment are the direct things that affect a company and the macro are the external things. So I'm sure you have heard about SWOT analysis. So the internal and external, so strengths and weaknesses are internal but opportunities and threats are external. In other words, those are, mic are, are macro, but strengths and weaknesses are micro. And these are some of the micro um, actors, the company, suppliers, marketing intermediaries, competitors, publics, customers. Um, and then no, it gets into a discussion about marketing intermediaries and I want to read out that because we did talk about it, the different publics and government is important because government, for example, affect um, the kinds of policies that can affect what companies do, or how companies market, like for example, the right to privacy and things like that. <coughs> Not getting a lot of um, judicial text messages on the weekend. Are you wondering how um, DHL or Bashko or one of these companies get your number to be sending you messages about buying a product or, or, or engaging their service, stuff like that. The macro environment, no, we're talking about demographic forces, and we did talk about it, that especially even Jamaica, no, we're becoming an aging population. More Jamaicans are living longer lives, regardless of what we see on the news about murders and so forth, because murders in Jamaica are heavily concentrated in what I would call urban and rural ghettos. It's really in inner city areas that there's a large percentage of crime. You know, for example, in I think it's Southside. Now they have all kinds of killing and who are killed who and all kinds of stuff. If you watch the news, and you guys are in um, JCF and JDF, you you probably know more about it than than I do. Um, killings are really concentrated in specific um, geographic locations, and I think I think the term being used by police is hotspots. 
I think that's the term I, I, I hear them use about the different hotspots. Then you have economic forces and economic forces can be the gross domestic product. It can be recessions. It can be access to capital. It can be foreign direct investment. It can be a whole host of things that can affect an economy. Um, natural forces, uh, it can be uh, many things, it can be natural disasters, things like that. Um, we talked about demography and that in terms of demography, you can segment the market that way. Oftentimes it's not the best way to do it, but if for example, you're a McDonald's, you might use a demographic segmentation because um, you might just say, okay, there's a children's meal. And you just say, okay, I'm going after children between the ages of five to 10. And then you do the rest for the adult population. You segment the marketplace that particular way. But it's not necessarily the, the best way to segment a market. And we get into baby boomers generation X. And sure you know this thing, people, because it might just appear on the test. I think it's on the test actually about the different um, generational groups, baby boomers. Um, Generation X, Millennials, and Generation Z. Anyone born after 2000? We did talk about, that, talk about that. Yes, this is Generation Z. I think most of you are Generation. And now you are Generation Z? Many things, so uno, uno too old for that. Uno old, so that uno no part of, anybody is a part of Generation Z? Wow, I have a full class, this is. No one is a part of Generation Z. Nobody born after that period of time. What the heck is it? All right. Um, and they are very much fluent with digital technology, very true. And therefore, mobile marketing and mobile targeting is important because you're going to reach these customers on their phones. People are constantly on their phones. Um, also, to the this is speaking about Canada, but to some extent, I think we have some of that in Jamaica, where you're having educated women having less children. Is that so? Do you guys agree that educated Jamaican women are having little to little one or no children? That's part of why the population is aging. Two, yeah, there are marriages on the decline. You have far more um, unmarried couples than married couples. I think that has been declining over a period of time um, as well. And therefore it will, oh, and another thing too, that more women have become professionals. And as a result, there's more disposable income. So you can target the family. You can target the family or you target the couple because there's more disposable income Dad is a professional, mom is a professional, and they are able to afford that. And of course, they are not the, 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 the majority. Then you have the segment, what I call in inner city communities where single, single headed households, mostly by women. And in those instances, even if you're targeting quote unquote inner city men, to spend, you it would be better to target the women of these men in order to get them to spend because most times they'll actually give the woman the money to go and buy. And that women are the ones who make decisions about the household. Most times, what kind of food is cooked, um, general things in the household are decided by women because if a man is present, then the man leaves those kinds of decisions, the woman, even at school that the child goes to, oftentimes is decided by the woman or decided by the mother. So these kinds of things you have to take into consideration when you are thinking about the macro um, environment. Geographic shifts in population, uh, I, 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 you find, I don't know that many people are still moved do you think that we are, we, there's a large movement from rural to urban still in Jamaica? Or there's somewhat of a, a shift back to rural? Or is it that rural areas are becoming slowly becoming quote unquote urbanized? What do you guys think?
Hello? Sir, repeat that question. So I'm asking, do you think that in the case of Jamaica, in terms of geographic shifts, do you think that there's still a large percentage of rural to urban migration or the reverse, or that rural areas are becoming increasingly, quote unquote, urbanized? Sir, mm -hmm. I think that um, more people are moved from the rural area to the urban because of work, job opportunities, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Um, and if they're working in, 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 in Kingston, they want to ensure that they, they want to ensure that um, they live close by, you know. So mm -hmm. um, I think people are moved from rural area to urban. Okay, yes. Anybody else? What say you, Fabian? Sir, I um, agree a little with um, Francine. However, enough people still stick to them um, rural, but coming to the urban area would be as Francine said, just the employment, but them still stick to them rural communities. Sir, mm -hmm. I feel like persons that are living in the country area now, because mm -hmm. of the North South Highway and the easy access to Kingston, mm -hmm. persons are not really moving now into town because. It's like 45 minutes. Uh, once they take the highway, they can reach in time, depending on where they were. Mm -hmm. What time they can get there. So I don't feel because of the the um the um what do you call it? Because of the highway mm -hmm. and the infrastructure now, yeah, things are, are, are a bit better in terms of um transportation and so forth. Okay. So, uh, All right. And I feel like persons overseas too that are returning residents, they are living in the country area. They move back to the, the country and persons who are retiree, they, they are living in the country too. So, okay. I don't know. Mm, no, 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 fuck the... But sir, look here, you know, and everybody what? drive, you know, and if you do drive, you have to consider about toll. You have to consider about gas. You have to think. You have to consider about time because you have to look out when dark period to reach a town early. Depends on what time work starts. Because most people, most people work nine to five or eight to four or whatever the case might be. And um, most people, me as me say, to them work in a town. They want to live somewhere closer in a town. Then put the people think about traffic. All of that. So it, it's just a whole heap factor. But when she say about the retiree you now, you know, if you're done with town, you're all and tired you now, you want to relax. You can't do the town thing, the fast life and the bag of knives and something. You just want peace and serenity so you move back into the rural area. You understand? Mm -hmm. If you have somewhere to go, from country place, you have can go back when you're old and tired. Okay, so I, I heard a male voice. I don't know if that was. Um... Yeah. Um, to where Francine did us still. I believe because I've even experienced it today. Because I went to St. Thomas today. And the person who I went with lives in St. Thomas. And they are currently staying in the urban area and them say the, the, the driving and a really a factor to them and even make it even better is that they might build up the, the, the highway down the side there. so you now have a problem with the with the driving in and coming it's just 
the, the proximity. Did I say that right? Yes, you did. So the workplace mm -hmm. and just a place to stay, but not live. As I said, I'm still can, um, living in them urban areas. Yeah. And some of them are um, willing to make the journey. But otherwise, from that. And the and, uh, next factor when they identify is that some of them have um, Kingston or St. Andrew or the urban area, we, we use that word, as high in. in Criminal activities and violence. So that is mm -hmm. a factor where, where, where um, push them back from living or decide that they're going to become urbanized. First. Mm -hmm. Well, I think for us to be even very accurate, though, um, there is need for, please mute your mics, there is need for some kind of academic um, study to investigate to see where Jamaicans are now in terms of living. Where am I going? In terms of where they're living. I know that uh, anecdotally, I think people are not so rushing to Kingston anymore because of the violence and too because of the highway. And um, it's really the highway, you get into Kingston quickly. The, the only time you experience traffic is when you actually get into Kingston. But when you're actually, when you're on the highway, you don't really experience traffic, you know. It's when you actually reach in Kingston now. So when you, if you're coming from Clarendon or so forth, is when you get to Mandela Highway or so, that's when you really experience traffic. But on the way from country, well, not from country, let's say from a rural part, um, you don't really experience traffic. Um, and I agree to that. Yeah, you do have people who are still coming to Kingston for work. And, but there are some persons who they say, you know what, I'll, take the, I'll make the journey because there's some sense of peace and quiet in rural Jamaica. I would actually live in Portland had we have a subway system. I think Portland is one of the prettiest places on earth. And I hope the criminals them don't find down there from the other day, I see one and two reports about Portland. Um, so it's an interesting um, food for thought. Uh, some academic study is needed. We have more, edu well, I don't know if that Jamaica is becoming an increasingly educated population. I know that there are, people have easier access to education No, than when I was in high school or when I was in my early twenties, the number of free this, that and all that exists all over the place. I never had that when I was going, there wasn't even path when I was going to school. I don't know that we are making use of it. Um, increasing diversity. This is more a global thing that brands are looking at where you have different groups and where, and then companies too have to become very sensitive. They just pulled a reporter, a white reporter, um, ESPN just pulled a white reporter because she had some some people say uh, racially insensitive comments about a black reporter saying that the only reason why they, they chose her is because of diversity. And I'm saying nothing is wrong with that. The only, probably the only reason why they, they chose her is because she's white and blonde because most television stations, I don't know if you realize this, especially in North American television station, the reporters are usually white and blonde, especially if they're women. They usually choose white blonde women, but no, there is an increasing demand for there to be diversity in its various manifestations. And I've always said to people, you don't necessarily have to agree with every single um, quote unquote rights being fought for. Um, but if you, especially if you travel, you have to be sensitive, well, not sensitive, but conscious of these various groups that exist there. And especially as a marketer, you want to be very conscious because when you're marketing, when you're the marketing office of our company, you are not selling yourself. You are not the product. You are coming up with strategies to promote a particular brand. I'm sure you remember when um, one of our, they, 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 do they call it hurdle? Is it hurdle that they call it? And they and they they they, they came out of the Alaska account about goldfish. 
I'm sure you, this was what, some years ago? And there was a kind of debate locally about somebody representing the country and then being disparaged by, a, which is actually a multinational brand because Lasco is, does not only operate in Jamaica, it operates internationally. <clears throat> and then they have to become very conscious of that, that if it is perceived in the international market that the brand itself is homophobic or is promoting homophobia, then cost, they might lose customers because they are operating not only in a local environment, but an international environment where people are more conscious about um, different groups of people or different rights. Um, even when you're, when you're promoting in like Islamic countries, if you're going to do any kind of sort of promotion or engagement in those kinds of countries, again, you have to be very conscious about how they deal with women. I'm not sure if you've ever watched some of the news reports where women, American or North American news reporters, they actually have to cover their, their, um, cover their heads when they're doing their reports because of this kind of demographic consciousness that is in the international marketplace. Um, in terms of economic environment, as they say, developing is industrial economy, subsistent economy, but that's not how I'm interp interpreting the economic environment. This is more what I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of changes in, um, changes in income. Is it that, for example, people have the spending power to make a purchase or to create a demand all right, changing in spending, um, changes in income. So what are people earning? Right now, I'm sure many brands in Jamaica are conscious of the fact that people are losing um, spending power because if you drive, the, 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 the petrol is about $200. Um, all right, the other day I was driving and I'm like, I gave my friend back his car very quickly because I'm not spending so much money for, for, for gas. It's ridiculous. Because when you buy the gas, you have to think about, but I need, I have to buy gas, but what about the food? And then, then you have JPS with the big light bill and all these various things that are affecting you know, people's domestic income to make, to even go to the movies, to eat out. So the, 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 the restaurants that are there to go to a party, things like that. Those kinds of economic um, activities affect the, the spending behavior or, 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 or um, affect customer behavior. Um, I think somebody wanted to say something. No, I was just saying I agree with you. I agree with that. Okay, yeah. Um, changing in spending patterns, things like that. Don't need to talk about that. Oh, yes. Uh, well, changing in spending patterns could be something else as well. That person, people originally um, were not so conscious about their health and will buy every and anything. But because of numerous reports about um, heart attack and hypertension, probably prostate cancer, all these various things, Jamaican men and women have become far more conscious about what they are consuming and will, and, and a place like Burger King might see a decline in purchase. I know KFC will not see a, de a decline because Jamaicans, for some strange reason, we are very loyal to KFC, no matter what, they couldn't put out too much reports. All when they put out a rat around on the counter, people still want in KFC. It's a different kind of cultural bond between Jamaicans and their KFC. Um, natural environment, we spoke about it, where brands have to become way more conscious about how they are perceived by customers and potential customers in relation to the environment. Do they think that the brand is not is actually robbing the natural environment um you know that some brands in the united states all right well let me not just pick on the united states but generally um in in what i would call developed countries they get the raw materials from developing countries many parts of africa i'm sure you have seen blood diamond that movie and the kind of riot and and bloodshed that it causes in parts of continental Africa and the contrast when it gets to places like United States, it ends up on the red carpet of a movie premiere. It's like just this very cavalier thing versus where it is coming from. And there are some people who will not make a purchase if they know that you are supporting um, things like that, even about child labor. Uh, I, I was trying to find a report the other day where the United States is 
is going to sanction or, or block a particular product from entering the United States because it was made, well, at least it is allegedly made by children in China. Um, increased government intervention in terms of regulations, you find that sometimes companies are not um, conscious of the way they dispose of, for example, their garbage, you know, they throw it out in the sea or whatever, and people, they, they put the, the, the public health at risk and government um, has to intervene and create legislations to ensure, well, to protect the rights of its citizens. Um, technological advances, there are so many of them. I, I, I yesterday, um, a colleague had a, two of them, they now have a watch and you guys might be aware of it that can tell you your heart rate, your cholesterol, your cholesterol level, your, all kinds of stuff. It can give you a whole, you know, a kind of diagnostic on the go real time thing. It tells you all of these various things. So technological advances, um, creating new customer bases, creating new opportunities for um, companies, um, increasing threats for others, creates new markets for some, um, causes some products and or companies to become obsolete, meaning that hey, we don't need you anymore because there's an easier way of doing this thing. And accelerating um, customer needs. In other words, customers sometimes want their problems or they want their needs and their wants to be satisfied in a shorter time span. Um, regulatory trends, this is important. The regulatory trends, laws have to establish to ensure that companies are complying so business legislation protects companies from each other so that you know the environment remains competitive, protects consumers from unfair business practices. Companies, some companies tell all kinds of lies in their ads and put customers at risk, especially when you have to take medication, and protects the interests of the interests of society, increase emphasis on ethics and social responsibility, social responsible behavior. They always put that social responsible behavior foolishness in it. But of course, in terms of ethics. When we're talking about ethics, we're talking about good and bad, moral and immoral, legal and illegal. Um, and then you, know, you have cause-related marketing where companies, if you buy one, um, the next one goes to like a charity or something like that. The cultural environment, you're talking about certain belief systems and certain norms and, and, and practices that might be, that you have to be conscious of so you don't want to go into a country and you're doing certain things that are considered to be incongruous to the culture of the space. And they have given you uh, various examples. I'm not going to discuss all of this. This is just a revision class. Um, important to note is that marketers have to be um, proactive, not reactive. So you need to pay not, you must always be paying attention to trends in the marketplace and also be able, able to seize opportunities as opposed to be reactive um, and be left behind. All right, I think that's about it. We can begin our, our, our quiz. I'm going to place the thing in the chat and I am going to, going to place it in the chat. Let me just find the link. Hope I don't lose the link. Um, there's one question in it that just asks you to put your ID number. And that is deliberately done just in case uh, you don't get a mark for that. All right, is there anybody who should be here that is not here that you can think of? I think, well, the class is full. I've never seen 18 persons in the class, never. All right, so you may log, please begin your, um, your quiz. Please remember that the questions are randomized as, all, as well as the answers. So if you ask anybody, you might get the answer wrong, all right? And it ends at nine o'clock. Twenty questions. Where, where the exam is going? Just where? click on the link for me, please. The link is in the chat. Just click on the link, please. 
Sorry, it asked me to sign in. We're going to sign in at ECC. Yes, please use your Gmail. Yeah. So the link is in our email then, sir. Jesus Christ. I said the link is in the chat. Chat. Is that multiple choice? Jesus Christ. It is a multiple choice. Sorry, it doesn't ask me for ID number and no, I was just sent straight to the, to the multiple charges. That's all right. Let's do the thing, please. You will get to that question, all right? Sir, just click on the link. Yes. So when I click on the link, it brings me to somewhere I'm not accessing it. Yes, me too, sir. So I don't know what else it is. It's making me frustrated at this point. Okay. Yeah. So sir, that's okay. on the link, and it's not bringing me on the platform. Sir, it's bringing me to back to my um, access my email, the third part, and it's saying um, it's sign out. It's sign my out when I click on sign in. <sighs> is there anybody else who's having that challenge? I'm on it, sir. And you're and it's working for you, right? Yes, sir. You guys Sorry. just click on a link or you just type in whatever is there. I click on the link and it's open. It's not happening on my But you don't see an option when it that said sign in. In the link, you don't see an option says oh, sign I don't. In. No. No, the the, the quiz just came up.
Sir. Sir? Yes. I get kick off in you know, a sir on my computer say so working on update 96% complete. Do not turn off your computer. It the, the, the computer just turn off by itself and a reboot by itself. Me not trouble not me, me actually in the process of doing the, the I was doing the exam and, and it just turn off itself. Share the link so if you can do it on your phone, but the exam ends at night. So I've reshared the link, all right? Okay, sir. Sir, the computer coming. You can resend it back, please. Sir, 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 sir. Yes. Sir, can I resend it, resend it in the room, bro? Group chat for me, please. Last year. Twenty eight minutes remaining.
10 minutes remaining.
All right, I'm sure we're all finished, right? I am I finished. Am. Okay, and you got back your scores, right, people? Not that, not that you're going to share it with anybody. Yes, sir, I got it back. Okay. Um, all right, so I'm going to turn off accepting responses, which means that, no, I'm not going to accept. No, okay, it's just turned off. Thank you. Thank you very much. So I think one, would that be one person? Sir, yes. what it has shown me something like it's not accepting. What I before you say, yeah, turn it off. I didn't touch anything. The system was designed to turn off at nine o'clock. Oh, but wait, sir. Let me see if I can go back on it because I'm not even... Can I go back on it? It's closed off. It's time but it not give, give me nothing. It not tell me nothing. All right, see if you can go back on it. Or... I don't know. After I submit, sir, I see an option that asks if I want to view the score or the grade. Uh-huh. That's where I see the score. Okay, so I will... I should have the um so look if you see my score, please. And, and text me inbox me in my, in my chat. Directly. Because me not see it. I know me click it before you said that, but I don't see it as, as I said, I did not turn off anything. The system is time sensitive. Oh. So it is I it, I told you to turn off exactly at nine o'clock, so that's what it did. But it still would read that I did what I did, right? Once you did it, yeah. Why is this thing telling me that? Sir, All right, guys. Yes? Um, for the ones you get wrong, I can ask you what it is or I have to go and search for it. No, man. We'll discuss it in, 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 um, on Monday. So, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. I want you discuss it. So a Monday before me know what score me get? Yes, because I after now I don't teach you. What? So I can I can text you and ask you. Well, if I get to check it tomorrow, but I'll try and check it tomorrow, but I'm not only check it now. I'm actually my eyes are closing down. Okay. So this is how this is the method of how you will give us the exam. It this, is a class test. This is not the method of how I'll be doing exam. This is a class test. Oh. Okay. All right. Have a good evening, everybody. Uh, time, hope you never see something else above you, points. For me, Tasso? Yeah. No, me never see nothing. It just come off? It just, it, it go power and something where I tell me, say, it is automatically, like, them, them, either them not receive. Let like them say they're not accepting nothing right now or something like that. But me oh. never get free. So I don't know if it just once the time gonna yes, you know, submit if it not read whatever or I don't know exactly how it is set up. But I know that I click submit though. Right before sir talk for him talk. But me not see nothing with tele square or tell if you click for nothing. Just say my dog so I don't know if it loves me. I don't know, I don't know. Sir, go on. No, I'm listening in. Oh. That's a me. Sir, me actually, I don't like them so I don't know. I don't know what I don't But you were supposed to click on the thing. Your other classmates did the thing. You're making it seem as if I turned off something. No, I don't. No, I'm not saying that, sir. I'm not saying I thought to I, click. No. I'm trying to see if I can get it right now. Um, because I don't know the CVS file, but I think I have to go delete one hold it for something in order to get to that. So oh. I'm trying to see if I can go across. It says, it says, this form is no longer accepting responses and has been set to automatically close by your name, your email address. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so it's turned off. It, yeah, so sir, if, so let's say one minute part, because I'm not even going to check the time, just that listen to you, sir. Um, I'm going to click the submit. So let's say one minute part, it would still read it that it's submit? Yes, yeah, gonna once you answer the questions, because you're looking at the I just that more, I know, sir. I'm not pressure you, I know. I just want to know that. 
All right, what's your is? name? Tamaya Toko. All right, I think I'm looking at. Did you write your name as well? Yeah, I put my um, I put my name and I put my ID number. Uh, what's the what the last four digits of your ID number? Fourteen eighty four. But I'm not seeing that. You're not seeing what? Um, let me see, because I'm seeing. This is Leona Anna K. Priscilla. I'm seeing 1492, 1489. This is Rasheen, Llewellyn Mills. This is Tiffany. This is 1327, 1034, 1443, 181108, 1518, 1419. I wonder if you are. Did you put in your ID number or something on the thing? Yes, sir. When, when you reach a certain amount of questions, between some questions you have the um the slot there to put in your name or your id you know and i did that so is it a case that she probably never submitted on time i don't know because I, I i'm seeing every the, the first one right i'm not seeing i don't know why i'm not seeing her thing you know so even if she does something on time you know just cut off and take what she yeah had. i eat me and say if even that's if I'm, hold on that's i'm looking because I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and it's supposed to be. I think it's eighteen of you, but it's supposed to be seventeen scripts, something like that. So I'm not sure why I'm not seeing yours. I see everybody else's, including the score, because I just download the CV file, mm -hmm. and then some persons didn't put their their name, but they put the ID number. So I mm. see Leo, I see Leona, Anna K, Priscilla, two persons with their ID number ending in 1492, 1484. Then I see Roshin. This is Llewellyn. Mm -hmm. I see Tiffany. I see somebody mm -hmm. with 1327. I see Latoya, Norda, Fabian, Estriana, Tosso, oh Faith, Francine Walters, and Vanessa Dice. Well, I don't know why I'm not seeing you. So I'm going to send you a picture of what it says. Right. No, I'm looking at it. I know what it says. I was the one that did it. Mr. Clark, are you seeing anyway 1489? Because I noticed I didn't hear you say that. Yeah, man. Yours is there. 1489 is there. All right, thanks. Yeah, and I think okay, I'm the highest I'm seeing is 18, and this is from Frankson. Frankson got 18. All right, let me see if I delete from this side how it goes. Because these are just the questions, right? I'm going to delete them somewhere again, that's so. I never, ever like the word. Questions. Can I delete? Yeah. So, so, sir, being that this is the case now, um, next class I can do it or what? what no, you can't read what test. The test has been administered already. You can't do a test that has been administered already. Remember, we talk, spoke about the integrity of the exam. You know, this is the same challenge. You know, you can't okay. do an exam. That so, has you know, been I left my home and come up on my friend just to get my internet to kick me off every minute. So what what if that was the case where my internet kicked me off? Yeah, but that was not the case though. I know that's not the case, but I'm saying there must be some other way I can do it. All right. So even with super, I'm I don't even with supervision or whatever. All right, go back and see if you can go, go and see if I turn it on. I'm mm -hmm. giving you 15 minutes. Go and see if you can submit your paper. Are you able to see anything? Let me go back on your chat. I would have to click back the link. Yeah, click back the link. Mm -hmm. All right, 15 minutes. I'm giving you 20 minutes to do it. Okay, sir. Exactly 20 so minutes. I have to stay on the, the, the line here with you. Yes, you have to stay on the line to so ensure that you're oh. not helping. Are your classmates right. helping you too? Okay. Because everybody has score I have. All right, no problem. I'll do it. Mm -hmm. So the highest is 18. Then I Sorry, you can't. I remember, me need to come up. If you have a thought, like, um, I, 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 
Okay, my apologies. Let me mute my mic.
Where's that card? Yes. Sir, we can't go about my business. Of course, it's just because she's doing this that why. All right. All right. Nice she's doing the, 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 the thing that why I'm still around. All right. All right. Have a good evening, everybody. Good night, sir. Night, night. Who is this night, 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 night. Night, sir. And we discuss Monday. All right, we will. I have a question to discuss. Yeah, man, definitely. Sir, let me get my score. I don't know if you can see, but I got it. Can't even go back on it. Sir. I will be able to see, so you don't need to announce it or anything. Oh, sorry. Yeah, man, I, I have the back end access to the thing. Okay. All right, sir. Bye. Thank you very much. I You're welcome. It. All right. Have a good evening, everybody. Yeah.